The population now is abundant. Uh, 2021 has been a great year for butterflies in general. Monarch butterflies are everywhere. You might have seen it on social media or by looking out a window. And if you think there are more than previous years, you're probably right. John Carley describes himself as a butterfly enthusiast and helps with counting monarchs in Toronto. He agrees the numbers are way up. We set a new high of monarchs of 409 seen on the count day, and that's better than the 366 we saw back in 2010. To keep this into context, our numbers dipped to 15 in 2015. Now, John tells us even though we live in the city, there are actually still lots of good places to find some monarchs. He says any urban green space not far from the water, which here is behind the trees, will do. In my case, I'm in Lakeshore Park in Mississauga. If we just meander around the fields, I'm surrounded by dozens of monarchs just steps away. So why suddenly so many? The weather has been good. I think that there's uh, been a, a greater appreciation for their migratory path, especially through the U.S. and plantings there. Um, but generally, it's been a it's been a good year for for vegetation and for their food plants, mon uh, milkweed and things like that. He says butterfly watchers will be looking to see if the trend continues over the next few years. They'll also be looking at other variables. For example, this spring, the GTA and surrounding area was also a hot spot for moths. So many that some municipalities considered spraying. Uh, there were concerns that that could affect other insects like butterflies and most municipalities opted not to. Do you have an opinion there? Oh, it, it's a tough one because the moth that was formerly called the gypsy moth is so pre prevalent in certain areas of the province and just devastating the vegetation. Um, the spray they use, the claim is that it only uh, gets to those caterpillars and those moths, uh, but I have some doubts there. The spraying, the timing of the spraying is critical. At the same time, Carol Pasternak, another butterfly enthusiast, is echoing that concern. She says the sprays do kill caterpillars from other species as well, which is why timing is important if you want to target, say, moths and not monarchs. If they spray before the monarchs arrive uh, and do their second spraying before the monarchs arrive, then it will not affect the monarch butterfly population, but it will affect the population of other butterflies and moths. She says she's happy to see monarchs thriving and tells us this particular species is especially effective at raising awareness, not just for itself, but others, and not just because they're so visually distinct, but also the captivating story of their incredible journey. The kind of, of insect that weighs less than a paperclip and can migrate 4,000 kilometers. In Lakeshore Park, David Zura, City News.